I've always been involved in special education. It's important to me because I have a family member who is um, disabled. It, that was one of the one of the major impacts for me. That was one of the that was one of the greatest influences I had. They say that children, whether in poverty, whether emotional poverty, financial poverty, they are less successful in school. And I really, really feel like kids sometimes get the brunt of that within a family sometimes. They feel it, they don't understand it. Um, and I think that we can't, we can't not know and notice and pay attention to those kids who are feeling that. So I, I'm looking at children who aren't successful and I'm saying, why aren't they successful? And the elephant in the room is they're having social emotional issues. So what are we going to do about it? I get, re I get very frustrated and I get angry because you can see the potential. You can see the potential of the child and there's like this wall right in front of them and everybody can see it. Um, and if they don't get the services, you know, you know what they could be but they can't be that person without getting that, that, those basics met. It all changed having a conversation with my superintendent and saying, okay, we need, to, we need to do something. We need to provide our families with something more than what we are. Um, and we had a great relationship with Arise. Parents really wanted to seek outside counseling. They knew that this is what they wanted but there were so many hurdles. Once a child goes through the pre-screening process and they begin learning the strategies to deal with emotional issues, you're giving them control over something for them that was out of control. When we were able to start the screenings, we were able to provide those services for those families within the building and take all of those factors out.